Hello and welcome back to episode two of A Time to Write with me, Tim Heath. Um, as I said in video one uh, last week, I am about to set up an experiment and this, uh, this video is because I've gone live. Um, I, I uploaded the uh, file, final file to Amazon earlier this morning and it's just waiting clearance so it's not on Amazon yet. Um, but yeah, we're, we're live, which is exciting. It's been a frantic week. It's the uh, uh, Wednesday, the fourth uh, of October, so a couple of days after I wanted it. Uh, and these final stages have taken a while, so that's where I'm at. So I, I just wanted to, in today's video, explain um, how I've, how I'm setting it up initially, and and why I'm doing it, as well as talking about the whole perma-free model um, and argument um, or debate. Which has happened even even today. So, what I've done with uh, with this series, um, well, the funny thing yesterday was looking through my uh, covers design, uh, trying to put something together for the Facebook group, which um, has now gone um, live. I, I realised there were I had eight eight titles already um, already in the series, not seven. So, it's actually an eight book series, um, which works well with um, with the the banner on Facebook but a little bit funny that I I'd somehow missed that in my planning so um, and, and, and the one I've missed is actually book five um, so I've actually written what is now book six not book five so I need to just yeah add, add another entry into that so um, what I've yeah, what I've set up this week is the first two books they're they're ready they've gone through my uh, current beta readers um, and they're ready to go um, uploaded so I've uploaded the first one onto Amazon and that's going to be uh, priced at uh, you know minimal threshold um, for the 70% royalty so 2.99 in the US and 1.99 in the UK and 2.99 in, in Europe and that's on Amazon that will be exclusive on Amazon on, on, on Kindle Unlimited so anyone in that subscription service can read it and then I've, I've at the same time I've put book two um, through, uh, it's, it's on book funnel, and there's a link at the end of the first book, which takes them through to my a MailChimp uh, list that I've set up, and they can sign up to the mailing list, and it automatically sends them the, uh, an email once I've confirmed their email address, uh, with a link to download the second book. So. Um, and I've put it in the, in the in the blurb on Amazon. I've kind of described it as being um, two books for the price of one. And and in time, when I do some advertising, I think I'll wait for the next few books to come out. But I will. Um, but I mention that that's one thing I will look at one marketing approach. Um, for me, it's it's I I, I want to test it because it's it's different to the perma free model. Um, and yes, yeah, so I just want to I'll talk about perma free now because I've, I've had this debate. Um, me as an author uh, of thrillers, I, I I did this as I said in my first video. There was a time when um, actually I had my, my first book out perma free for a while, but, but before that, the, the reason why I'm doing this whole experiment is my my single most um, uh, like best performing month in terms of an author, which was back in the day when I only had one book out. And I'd first put um, my, my, my book then with its bad cover and you know not fully uh, edited insights uh, had 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 been on Amazon um, uh, KDP so exclusive on Amazon and I'd done my first three day promo. I remember at the time wishing it had been five days because it, it kind of hit number two in the chart and and you know I think it would have gone number one. And but then on the back of that, uh, just had these amazing number of sales. And yeah, so my highest royalty, and that was a time when I had no other books, I had no real mailing list, pure exposure. So I guess one of the questions that I've posed, uh, what I'm thinking this um, this week as I've been processing it is, is that you know, are there different types of freebie seekers in the sense of those that come? Is there something with the algorithm on, on Amazon that it, it serves up your book um, following that successful three day, five day promo to put it in front of people who will buy? Um, or, as I might find out, you know, this was this was back in 2012, uh, 
2012, I think, 2013. So, you know, are we four years into a module that we've, we've just saturated it? So those readers don't exist anymore. And again, I'll find that out. But my issue with uh, putting uh, my book perma free in, and to which it was for the whole of 2016, well, from February 2016 to February this year, um, cherry picking my debut was uh, perma free and had something like 60, seven sixty eight thousand downloads um, hit you know for a period it hit number one in the us and uk simultaneous for about a 15 day period it was just there um you know several hundred downloads a day i think that the, the highest download day was 1776 uh, when it first went number one um after that you know all that nothing there's no there's no follow through uh there's no real major sales um and it, it kind of kind of shows me i'm just not sure i i for a while as an author i've, I've kind of been alarmed that we're getting to the point where we're, we're certain readers those that will pick up a free book um because by definition they aren't the only readers out there they are a a, a fragment of the actual readership but for those readers we're, we're we're bombarding them with free books they have now a choice of literally hundreds and hundreds of books that they can read for free because authors are doing this as a model and what i'm finding we haven't asked these readers is they don't need to buy the you know why buy <laughs> so much free so it, it made me rethink um earlier this year and since taking my book off perma free it's sold books uh, it's one of it's still you know it sells books and and um as, as do the others um so yeah it's made me rethink and and this whole experiment is about that really so i want to see you know how it goes uh we're at the seven minute mark on this video now so i'll keep this one short um so i've i'm at the point where i've i've launched um i've i've pressed the confirm button and my first title was going through the amazon um setup process um, under this new author name which i'm still keeping quiet for the moment um by the, by the time the fifth book is out i think i will let you guys know um but um yeah we'll see um i guess in my next video which i'll probably do some point next week we'll see if there's any sales i'll, I'll try and make a note of when these happen uh, this week um there's not a lot happening uh in terms of i'm not going to market it particularly um there's you know obviously it's a new author so there's no following um so we'll just see what happens when, when it sits on the the new release um, notifications on Amazon see what they do with it in fact it's in KU see if there's any traction there um, I've I'm encouraging people to join uh, the Facebook page which has been set up for the books that you'll, I'll, I'll see if the, as those likes come in and obviously have the reports from from Mailchimp and book fun in terms of anyone claiming the second book so yeah, that's it for now it's an exciting time to have got to this point my aim is to release <coughs> each book uh, in three weeks uh three weeks time which will put the, the final books uh, up to january so we'll see how i get on it's been frantic i'm meant to be editing my um my next novel my seventh novel and i'm meant to be doing the feedback from that so i will get on with that tomorrow a few days late but um but that's it for now and i'll be back with another episode uh, in about a week's time when i when we look at the Early results, if any, uh, has it sold? Uh, has anybody purchased it? Has anybody read it? I'll let you know next week. Okay, have a great week. Bye.